Today, we're in France, in the Marne region. You know, the plains around lakes are home to many animals. Some live here, but others, well, it, for them, it's just a stopover. The common crane, for example, in the summertime, it lives in the northern part of Europe. But when winter's on its way, it's off to southern Spain, and sometimes even as far as Morocco. You know, that's 5,000 kilometers round trip. They really like exercise, our friends, the cranes. What's more, there's never been a better navigator. Year after year, it's the same route and stopovers, and their timetable is perfect to the minute. There you see. Today, the scheduled stopover is a three-star cornfield, just like last year. They have to rest and take on fuel, well, you know, food, because on the flight, it's always the same when the whole family travels. Frequent stops, otherwise the kids get too tired and hungry, it's for sure no crane wants that, because for them, the family comes first. It's true, crane couples stay together for life. And when you realize they live for 50 years. <laughs> anyway, the colony makes its flight plan, taking the children into account. Yeah, in, in a way, you could say the, the family that flies together stays together. This cornfield, even after it's been harvested, is a first-class restaurant for them. The whole colony eats its fill, but all the same, keeping a sharp eye for any danger. You never know. It's better to be watchful. There are lots of predators, and cranes never take chances with safety. So everybody is a little bit on guard. After all, that's one of the advantages of living in a group. Aha, there is an intruder. It's a koipu, like the cranes. He's a big fan of fresh corn. I'll bet they spot him within three seconds. One, two, three. What did I tell you? They all stop and fix him with a steely stare. Hmm, he couldn't care less. Well, a cornfield belongs to everybody, doesn't it? No problem. False alarm. Back to eating. And some even catch a few winks of sleep. All the same, they remain on guard. They seem a little worried. Again, everybody stops on alert. Silence. This time it could be serious. No, just a few more customers for the corn. They're not stuffing it down like the koi poo. The cranes, uh, they all calm down. Right, for the cranes, it's almost departure time. They have to keep to schedule. A little last-minute maintenance, arrange and smooth down feathers if you want to cut through the air like a supersonic jet. And they're off. Direction south. Squadron V formation. Neck well extended. Landing gear up. Meeting again next year. Same time. Same place. <laughs>